Got a little bonus for you for the people who watched the video where I measure the speed of the copter. You may be saying, well, how did you convert from, you know, you, you took you, uh, you know, so many seconds to fly 100 feet and convert that to miles per hour. Now, it's not rocket science to convert from feet per second to miles per hour, right? That's not rocket science. But who wants to punch numbers into a calculator and add and multiply and divide all by yourself? There's an easier way to do it. Google can do conversions for you. So, for example, 100 feet per second in miles per hour. No problem. Can do. In fact, it can do lots and lots of conversions. It can even do sort of compound conversions in math. For example, 100 feet per 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 seconds. Well, that's the same answer. That's 100 feet per second. See, see, see it was smart enough to figure that out. It's really smart. In fact, it's smart enough that what we can do is we can say, I know that the Yi is recording at 60 frames per second. And in Premiere, it's easy to figure out how many frames there are between two different points in the clip. So what I did was in Premiere, I counted the number of frames. And let's say it was 73 frames. So that was 73 out of 60 frames per second. And it tells us that's 56 miles per hour. See? Piece of cake. So, so there you go. If you want to do this same thing for yourself, uh, one way to do it is to just count frames using your favorite video editor and basically stick this formula into Google and it'll spit the miles per hour out for you. No fuss, no must, no, no spreadsheet, no calculator, no pencil, no slide rule. Just there it is. Making it too easy for us. Kids these days got it too easy. Isn't that what they say? But I'm not a kid and I, I'm still taking advantage. So there you go. That's a quick way to do that conversion. If you decide to do this same thing yourself, what if your uh, what if your markers aren't 100 feet apart? Maybe they're 78 feet apart, or 52 feet apart, or 137 feet apart. It's no problem. You can just stick whatever you end up with. What if your camera's running at 30 frames per second? Not a problem. What if you want to put in minutes and seconds? Minutes, I don't know. And whatever you can just play with it as need be. Hope that's helpful. Happy flying.